All right, so you may be wondering what you can get for less than $5,600 to power your home during an emergency or just have a partial backup that runs all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I would pick up for this price point, less than $5,600 and have a pretty good size system that can power some loads and during an emergency, you know, you could decide what loads that you need to be powered at your house, whether that be your fridge or your air conditioner or whatever you wanna run. So let's go ahead and jump on the Signature Solar's website of course, I'm affiliate with them, so any of this stuff, I'm gonna have links down below. And I do make a small little commission off of the, any of those sales. So you're definitely gonna help me out and the channel. So if you're interested, you know, you can always go through that and use code RodneyHunt50 to get $50 off any order over $500. And they have free shipping right now, any order over $2,000. So, hey, it's all up to you. I don't care where you go buy the stuff at. And as long as you're out there trying to be self-sufficient and trying to get you some backup power so you can have more freedom, that's what I'm all about. So if you do want to help me out, you can use my links. If not, hey, go get it somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my cart that I got. Basically, I got 19 items in here right now. And I'm gonna just show you all the items that I got and then we can click on each one and talk about them a little bit. So basically, I have the 6,000 XP. You're gonna be able to use 6,000 watts of power at your house. And that's pretty good, much gonna power most loads that you're going to have that you're going to need in a backup scenario you won't be able to run everything at one time but it's going to run one or two or three or four or whatever loads at a time depending on how big they are so you can go turn your breakers off and on depending on what you need to use it will definitely be able to run your fridge and your internet and your tv and charge your devices and stuff like that so you know to me you're going to have plenty of power and for that price point fourteen hundred and forty nine dollars it is a deal and then i would have got some cheaper panels than this but these are the cheapest ones that are that i could find that was in stock right now i would get the 305 watt the hondas because i think they were like 80 some dollars so they're even cheaper than this so you can get this for even less money or if you even want to bump it up a little bit you want to pay a little bit more i think they have some that's about 160 dollars and they're by facials and they go up to 540 watts i think it's a different brand you can go check those out as well. But for $120, these 395 watt bifacials that go up to 470 watts for the Hondas, hey, not bad at all. So get 10 of those. You're gonna get the free shipping if you go get them right now. Hey, and you're gonna have some decent power for that. You know, basically you're gonna have a little more than 4,000 watts if you got them ground mounted and using a bifacial part. It's gonna be more than 4,000 watts, you know, so you can be able to get you know, 20 to 20 some KW a day off of those 10 panels. And then we're gonna go look at the batteries. You got the EG4, the Life Power 4s. Right now they're $1,149. That's a deal. I've never seen them that low. A deal. Go ahead and pick two of those up. That way you better max out your inverter because that inverter, you're really supposed to have it with two batteries and not one to get the max output. And hey, for that price, not bad at all. $2,298 for two batteries. That's 10 kilowatts of backup power. So at night, you know, you definitely be able to run your fridge and your internet and stuff like that and be good to go. You're not gonna be able to run a whole house air conditioner probably, you know, not long at least. If you have a mini split or something like that, it may run that for a while. So it's dependent on your setup, but some power is always gonna be better than none, especially for this price point. That's $64. Then you get you a couple of the 36 inch, two AWG battery cables to hook up to each one of your batteries. And then you're gonna want a cable to hook up from your bus bar to your inverter. And I just went with the, the two aught, which may be a little overkill, but you know, it never hurts to have a bigger one for that. And then it's gonna come with a free, of course, a read write cable. Let's go on it and see, basically the price is $5,194.37. And you know, depending on your tax, could be a little different depending on your state, but basically $5,558 with free shipping. That's not bad to have a, a home backup system for when the power goes out or you can have this run a, a partial load panel. You know, you can move some of your loads over to a panel, have grid power going into your inverter, and then no matter what's going on with the solar, you know, either it's gonna power your loads by solar or from your battery or from the grid. Let's see if the updater is on here. So I would also get this, the Wi-Fi dongle automatic updater if you don't want to have to deal with trying to update these things. And so I'd go ahead and add this in. Let's go ahead and add that to the cart. You know, basically it's just a plug and play. You're not gonna have to update the Life Power 4 batteries. If you've seen anybody struggling with that, I mean, I've struggled with it some here. I did get my stuff updated, but it was kind of a little aggravating, you know, 
you try to have to get one going before the rest of them will go. It's just weird. I don't, I don't understand it sometimes, but they kind of solved that problem with this updater. It's just plug and play. You plug it in, it updates the thing, take it out, do the next one. And they got videos on that if you want to go check that out. And then if you use discount code LifePower4, you can get that thing for free. So, you know, just look in the description of that item, add it. It's going to be free, you know, so why not? So if you were looking for a budget system, I'd like to know what you guys would get and what you guys think of this system. You know, and if you're interested in this, I got a whole playlist. You might want to go check that out of these EG4 6000 XPs. You know, I got three of them now, but I started out with one doing the testing. So I got a whole series installing them and all that. So go check out that playlist I got linked up above so you can see what these inverters are capable of and if they may work for you. And as always, thanks for watching.